On November 4, 1740, a baby in Farnham, England, was given the formidable name of Augustus Montague Toplady. His father, a major in the Royal Marines, had died in war, and his mother, Catherine, spoiled him terribly. His friends often thought him sick and neurotic, and his relatives truly disliked him. But Augustus Toplady was interested in the Lord. I am now arrived at the age of 11 years, he wrote on his birthday. I praise God I can remember no dreadful crime to the Lord be the glory. By age 12, he was preaching sermons to whoever would listen. At 14, he began writing hymns. At 15, he was soundly converted to Christ while attending a barn service conducted by James Morris, a follower of John Wesley. And by 22, Top Lady was ordained an Anglican priest. He and his contemporary, John Wesley, often clashed due to their differences in theology. The great Methodist leader angered Augustus to the point that he once decided to write an article intended to be a slap at Wesley. Augustus extolled God's forgiveness in the article, and in 1776 it was published. It ended with an original poem. Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Augustus' top lady died at age 38. But his poem outlived him and has been called the best known, best loved, and most widely used hymn in the English language. Oddly, it was remarkably similar to something Wesley himself had written nearly 30 years before in the preface of a book of hymns for the Lord's Supper. O rock of salvation, rock struck and cleft for me, let those two streams of blood and water which gush from thy side bring down pardon and holiness into my soul. Perhaps the two men were not as incompatible as they thought.